Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on solving a tricky equation. This is a, actually a really tricky, tricky equation. Normally, it's pretty easy to convert the trig equation into one trig values here, but here we have two. Now, there are two methods or two general thoughts on solving this type of problem. One is that if you recognize this one, and the coefficient of 1 here could be possibly tricked into a sine alpha plus beta. So what I did is I divided by 2 on both sides. Then you can see this is possibly a special angle, special value. Once you recognize that, for example, if you can recognize this one as a cosine pi over 6, or cosine 30 degrees, then this is sine 30 degrees. Then you can convert this one into one equation in form of sine theta minus pi over 6 equal to minus half. You can solve from there. Now this is actually a pretty tricky one. Okay, so you know my years teaching math, I've, I've rarely had students be able to spot this one. A more common way is this. You're going to square this one. And then the problem with the square of both sides, both sides, is that you will have extraneous solution, which means you have to check answer caref carefully. And for this clip, I'm just going to take the most common approach, which is this, this way. I'm going to square both sides. When I square the, both sides, I'll have 3 sine theta squared minus twice of radical root sine theta cosine theta and then plus cosine theta squared. Uh oh, I'm running out of room. It's equal to 1. There, barely squeezed in. Okay. And then from here, what I'm going to do is split this one into sine squared plus cosine theta, ah, not cosine, plus twice of sine, apologize for the messy writing here, plus twice. The reason I want to split this up is I have a cosine here. I would love to have a sine to cancel something out because sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared is 1. Okay, that's the thought behind splitting this one up here. Okay, so now I'm going to cancel those two because this is 1 plus twice sine squared theta minus twice radical 3 sine theta cosine theta equal to 1. Okay, so basically I, I added those two using the trig identity that sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared is 1. I'm going to cancel this 1. Now be careful over here, instead of dividing sine theta, which I might lose a solution, I'm actually going to factor it. And then I have sine theta here minus radical 3 cosine theta equal to 0. So two solutions are sine theta equal to 0, which is theta equal to 0. That's the easy one. And then let's take a look at what's the other one. Sine theta equal to radical 3 cosine theta. So it's this chunk equal to 0. I'm going to set each ch chunk equal to 0. Here what I actually have then is tangent theta equal to radical 3. Tangent theta, let's draw a curve and see, figure out where we have tangent theta equal to radical 3. Tangent theta looks like this. It blows up at pi over 2 and repeats again 3 pi over 2 so like a kid never learns the lesson. And then let's see if I can draw this curve as nicely as I can manage it. Okay. Radical 3 is 1.7 or so. So I'm looking at two values here. There's one here, and there's one here. And this is the pi. Now let's call this one alpha 1, alpha 2. So alpha 1 is going to give me pi over 3 alpha 2 is equal to pi, that's referenced here, added pi over 3. Okay. 
Uh, I gotta check each one of them. And remember earlier I said that when you square both sides, there's a chance you'll have extraneous solution. And sure enough, when you plug alpha one equal to theta, which is equal to pi over three, you have the solution does not fit. Let's take a look why it doesn't fit. You have radical three times sine of this one, which is radical three over two, minus cosine of this one, which is half. This does not equal to minus one. Okay, so this solution does not fit. Let's try another one. Theta equal to four pi over three. Now for this one, I have radical three times the sine of this one is actually minus three over two because I mean quadrant four for this one. Okay. Then you have a minus, minus minus half. So here I have minus three over two plus half which equal to minus one. So this one fit. So my answers are theta equal to zero or theta is equal to four pi over three. Okay, well, I hope this is clear and this is how we handle this type of problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I'd appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.